Good evening, everyone. Welcome to the New York Times Hard Sudoku. It's Wednesday, April 10th, 2024. We start by having fours in rows one and two. Fours in two spots in row three, but not here because the four in column five happens to look up. That places four in box two. And we'll put the four in one of two places in box eight. Uh, one's right there, based on those two ones in rows one and three, respectively. Okay, I can put an eight right here. And they call this a hard one? I've had three digits right off the bat. One eight four, one eight four, one eight four, and three nine six once a piece beyond the one eight four triplet. In the top three rows, I'm done. Okay, the middle three rows. Those two, uh, those twos put a two in one of those two spots in row five. They give me all three fours, and that's all I'm going to get. In the bottom three rows, I get a one in two spots in row nine. I think that's it. Okay, now let's look vertically. Uh, one is there in column three. And here in column two. Whoop, no, wrong box. Here in column two. I think I'm done. Yeah. Six is one of those. Four is there. Eight is here. Column seven someplace. I think. Yeah, four, eight, four, eight, four, eight, and then... 159 on top of that. Okay, I'm done. Okay, 3 and 9 can't go here. So 3 and 9 go in those cells somewhere. 1, 4, 6, 7, 8. I need 2, 3, 5, and 9. That's not 2. This one can't... Oh. I should have started there. That's a hidden five, because that sees two, three, and nine. So those aren't five, and that's a triple. Okay, so these are a triple. Two, six, seven. Let's see, that puts two here. But I don't know where 2 goes in rows 2 and 3. Let's see, 1, 4, 7, 8. In row 2, I need 2, 3, 5, 6, 9. Not 9, okay. 5 is there, and that puts 5 there. Oh, this could still be 7. Oofta. 2, 3, 5, not 6, but it could be 7. One does not cross into box 6. It could go in one of those three. I have nothing in box 9 yet. That's irritating. But these are not 1, 3, 4, 6, 8. They're from 2, 5, 7, 9 in some order. Like that. Oh, threes in two spots in row 3, but they cross a region. So that does not help me at all. Okay, these can't be even digits, so those are only odd digits. Column 6. This one could be 4. Not 1. Two ways. 3, 5, 7, 9 are possible. That's not 7, that's not 5. 
And I don't have much useful to go on, do I? Now, let's see. Two, four, five, six, seven. I need one, three, eight, nine for those four cells in column four. Not eight, not three, and not one, respectively. Okay, that's not one. So one's there, which I should have seen from those given ones, which I totally miss on the initial scanning. That's on me. Uh, one, three, four, five, eight in column one are all given digits. I need two, six, seven, nine to fill out the rest. That's any of them. That's not two. Uh, wait a minute, that sees 2, 6, and 7, that is a 9. That's like, that one was a hidden digit. Okay, so those are 9. And cost 2 to triple, it's another 2, 6, 7. Okay, three cannot go here because of that three in column three. Three is forced in those two cells. Three and four are in the same two cells in a box or a region, so three, four hidden pair is seen. That means this is a triple. One, three, four, five, seven, nine. Those are two, six, eight in some order. And then I can clean this up. But this is a 268 triple in the column. That means that can't be 2 or 6. Therefore, is 7, which places 2. And 6. And these are going to be 5, 9. Which comes over here in row 3. That's not 5. That's not 9. 2, we'll place 3, and then 7. And somehow I ended up with a problem there. Okay, I made a mistake. Hmm. Let's see, that's 7. Yeah, that's 7. Has to be two. That has to be six, doesn't it? See, this is a two six seven set, and that's a two six seven set. Okay, this may not be nine. That digit there. Yep, I had incorrectly assumed this was not 2. This is 2 or 9. That's where I made the mistake, right here. This 2 there does not rule out that from being a 2, and that's where I made a, a logic error. Okay, so 6 is there. I don't have anything else to go on. Nope. Okay, I've got two, four, five, eight. I need what looks like one, three, six, seven, nine to fill out row four. Not three, not one. I don't get much useful. That 6, 9 doesn't even help me. In row 4, column 2. Okay. 2 can't go here, so 2 is one of these two. And 2 can't go there in column 7. No, oh, this could still be two. Erg. Okay, I can't rule two exclusively to that box. I wish I could. 
But 1, 4, 5 says I need 2, 3, 6, 7, 8, 9. Column 7. Not 2, 3, 8. Not 2, 8. Not 6. Not 2, 7. Let's see, these cells are not 4, 8, 9. And these cells are not 2 or 8. Column 8. Okay, that one sees 3, 4, and 5. Okay, that one sees 2 and 5 by box. This one sees 1 and 6 by row. That sees 1 and 7 by row. That sees 5 by row, I think. Okay, I need to make some adjustments here. Okay, those cells, okay. These cells are not one, two, six. This one isn't one, two, three, four. So this is five through nine inclusive. Okay, those are not 1, 3, 4, 5, 7, so they can only be 9 from the odd digits. 2, 4, 6, 8 from the evens. Left with that configuration, this one isn't 2, 3, 4. These aren't 1, 7. Okay, oh. Let's see, three and four can only be in those two cells. That's a hidden pair, column two. So that's limited eight to one of those, six to one of these. Therefore, that can't be 6. That can't be 6 or 8. That's not 6 now. So that places 6 in row 1, which places 9, and that's going to undo a lot more. Let's see, none of these are a 9. These aren't 6. Let's see, that's left as a 258 triple. Those aren't 9, neither is that. Five is in two regions in column three, so that does not help me. But six will place the seven in row one. That comes back to place the two, which places the five. That makes a 7-9 pair. This can't be 7 by the pair logic, or 5. I just placed it. Now that can't be 9. There's a 2-3 pair in row 3, which is not resolved yet. Oh, 5 is in 3 places in column 8. That's not helpful. Right, five in column two places the eight, which places the two. 
6, 7, in column 1, places the 1 and the 5. Oh, places the 9, the 7, then comes back down, the 2 is done. Column 1. Okay, 6, 8, 9, I can delete those markings. Column 1. Column 3, excuse me, 1 places a 3. In row 4. Cleans up a little more things. Uh, 6 and 7 are placed. Row 4 is complete. Those can't be 6. That doesn't help me with much of anything. Nope. But the 7 in the box does. That gives me 9, 5, 3, 2, 9. Box 2 is done. That gives me 3, 5, 5. I'm left with a 2, 6 pair in box 3. This isn't 9. That's not 7. I've got the perfect chocolate quad teapot. Four different pairs of digits in box 6. But which will be resolved soon enough by 1, 8, 6. The 1 in row 6 places the 7, which will fill out the rest of box 6, which comes over and finishes the rest of box 4. Uh, column 4 is done except for a 9. Let's see, these are 4 and 7 for column 6. That can only be 4, it can't be 7. So 7 is placed. Let's see. 3, 5, 8 there, which I don't think I need to mark. Not 2, 3, 9. Not 3 or 9. Not 3, 7 or 9. Oh, this can't be 4. By 4 in the row, 8 just got placed. Well, that can't be 1. That places the 1 in box 9. Oh, 3, 4, 9, triple. In column 8, that removes a 3. Uh, two is removed from the row and seven in the column. So five is placed in box nine. That places six, which comes back up and gives me two and six. Eight, seven, two. And we should be away at this point. Sorry for that flare there. I mistyped a digit. Four, three, nine. There we go. Well... 18 minutes, even with a mistake. Yeah, if I was more careful in scanning the board, that would have been 12 or 13 easily. Well, thank you for joining me this afternoon. I hope you'll have a lovely time solving the puzzle.